Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to add this uh, this feature collection as a as a layer on the on the map. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab the snippet for this and uh, cruise over to here, paste it in. So we're going to add the feature collection as a map layer. And to do this, we're going to use the the same old map add layer um, request or method but it's going to be slightly different because we're now trying to add um, a feature collection or vector to the map rather than an image collection or an image, which is a raster. Okay, so I'm going to say, let's go ahead and add hello pond, which is the same, I'm just saying, please show this, this data object. And now we need to kind of, um, let's kind of step through this one at a time. So if I say that, it's going to draw um, Hello Pond, these two, you can kind of see them slightly transparent, but if I grab the inspector, you can see that there's actually two features there. There's only one here, so they're drawing them on top of each other, and uh, but they're not using any color to uh, to visualize the, the features. It's just the default is going to be black. So then the next thing I can do is say, please use some color, and this is the big difference is that with feature collections, you use the request color rather than palette. And you also don't have to define a minimum and maximum. You're just saying use a, a color. So let's just say blue and uh, and then hit run. And so now what you should get are the kind of real saturated blue um, being used to draw both features. It's actually uh, harder than you think to use different colors in vector to distinguish different objects. We'll talk about that later on, but for right now, um, we're going to just say use blue to distinguish, um, to, to, to symbolize um, every polygon in the feature or every feature in the feature collection. Please use blue to display it. And that's, that's about what you can do there. Um, the next thing is if we went over to layers, you can see it's just got the default layer one right now. So if you instead called this hello pond and hit run, it's going to um, change the name over here. Um, and then the last is you can control on and off for the transparency over here. So if we added a false statement to this, then when it runs, it's not going to display it, but you have to request it to display. We're going to use this a lot just to, um, in the in the tutorials that follow. I, I often kind of don't display. I ask to not show automatically. Um, and then the last is if you wanted to somehow change the transparency of these. So if you went to 0 0.5, it's going to change the opacity, which is similar to transparency, but it's going to see how this thing is set at this. So it's displaying them slightly transparent. That's that's completely transparent. That's completely opaque. And 0 0.5 is um, halfway opacity. And what you'll notice is that even completely opaque feature vectors are always shown slightly transparent. Is that is that fair? So a one opacity for um, features in a feature collection is still going to be slightly see-through. And that's just the, I don't think you can get or get around that. You can't, you can't do the spinal tap thing of like, well, go to 11, give me, give me a bigger opacity. It's going to be mad at that. You can, it only goes to one. There's no 11. Is that fair? So, um, so we're just not even going to bother defining that. Okay, so I'm going to save and uh, keep moving on.